Hello beautiful people, future me. Let's get into it. So, typing. Improve, of course. Phone is ringing. That is just grey. That is just grey. That is just great. And no, I'm not going to again. Okay. Oh no! Where is my clock? Where is my clock? Where is my clock? Here it is. I'll put it in the middle this time. Alright, and I'm near the fifth minute, it doesn't see, it doesn't 
through here and I have 12 and 32 and I will stopping the alarm so who knows uh, I know that I will pour the tea right, right now uh, looks like a string, strong tea after 5 minutes of brewing oh. we'll see we'll see Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So I'll reset this and pretend and track 25 uh, minutes in here. And the next thing in line is some um, coding. So here I have the tutorial. And the last thing I was doing or created SSC, SS playground. Okay, and the last one was list. And I think I was reading something after that, and that is a table. Uh, okay, so we can do the tables then. Okay, so we will have uh, two tables, so table, and this will be of class A, and then we will modify it, so we do uh, the table heading and here we put in records right and this would be uh, name okay it is and first will be Steven Carlin Anthony Spatafora, Anthony, or uh, all good people. All right, who is good as well? Matt, another awesome guy. Uh, so it's Matt. Oh, dang it! What is your Surname, what is your second name? Matt? Matt Gregard. MC. Gretten. Car? Gretten Car? Maybe. Maybe. Why will know today in work? But I'm but Alright, so this is. Those are 
this is our table and maybe I will do this and do that and now I will paste that I will paste the Anthony all right so we can do that and currently it will look like this because I didn't did it correctly this doesn't have a heading okay uh, we can fix have three people in there? I thought I have four good people in there. Okay. So, uh, like that. So, how do you do the table? Dang it. Where is example? Where is example? For this example, okay, try it yourself. And here is table with the ID record. Ah, I switched it around. Okay, so here this is the DR, this will be a DH. Uh, record data data here is a record H I dang it dang 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 H uh, data data uh, change this record data okay so maybe now we will see a table and we do all right so here we will define some styles uh, huh, I delete the table tag yeah, I did that happens to me all the time style and we will do style for tables in general. So uh, that will look something like this. And we will do border. Border one pixel white. Uh, so let yeah, why not? And Grainsboro, why not? Yay! Here we go. And there is a border around our element that we want also around our uh, dr element around our record and that's the line maybe okay let's let's go to the mall Today. Okay, it doesn't do anything on DR on on the record. Okay, so maybe I can do the header in here. Now we have a around the header something, and I think I want black. Black. And we can do the same for the data. Here we go. So we will do all on all, all on all of them. Table header and the data. And it looks something like this. Just for the hmm. Maybe I can do margin. Margin not marker margin and we will do twenty fifty. Okay. Okay, 50 will do, and there are all beautiful, beautiful things. And then we can do dot A, 
and here we will do the border collapse property border collapse to collapse and now this will be one line hopefully and it is for both because I did not change the style of this to B. Which I forgot. Okay, so now it works. So we have got this and that. And now I will move Steven to the rest of the guys. Because I want to illustrate uh, some other property. And that is uh, the changing the colors of odd, odd elements. So we'll do it on a table P. And this will be uh, data colon. Uh, uh, it was an uh, child. Uh, or something like that. Like says even no. Okay, so DD. Okay, and it'll be a. Uh, Okay, I don't recall how this one is danced, but that's basically I want to like set some style for for another, another one, and as well we can change the color padding and so on. So padding we will do ten pixels, and it will look like this. And now I will have a look because I just run out of the ideas. So we have the border, which we did. There's this collapse border property, which we did. Then uh, this is also what we tried. Table width and weight uh, is something we did not try, it's kind of understandable like everything almost everything can have a width and height there's a horizontal aligner which we definitely did not do so we will do that uh, the text alignment there's a horizontal and the vertical which is kind of weird that it is a text align for the horizontal and it is it says vertical align for uh, vertical Okay. Okay. I definitely need to set some height uh, to to make sense. Otherwise, we would not have the vertical space where to move our text, right? And we have a padding, which I did already. And there are horizontal dividers. Yeah. So this is we can specify that there's only. On the sum, there's a hover ball which we did not do, and there's a dr hover. And maybe I already know how to do this stuff, and that is like here there's the element, then there is a column, and there is what you do. And it is so, so it's like tr and child and then the even and so on. There's a table color. Mm -hmm. So there's a background color and color. Specifies the background color and the color color of th elements. Okay, so this is the green one and this is the white uh, in the heading. Uh, this is how it looks. 
and here is a responsive table which I don't remember at all so there is like overflow so maybe if I resize it it will do the scroll bar thingy okay the normal one doesn't do the normal one resize mm -hmm. this one doesn't this one doesn't this one make a scroll bar okay and that is you Good, the screen is too small to display the full content. Add a container element like div with overflow x auto bound the table element around the table element to make it responsive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the overflow x style on the surrounding element. Overflow x auto. Okay. Note in Mac scroll bars are hidden okay cool and there are more examples all right so now I can test myself again which is awesome and first we wanted to do is to change the uh, end child so we will do uh, and child and uh, it will be even and we will change the background color background color and we will do the Gainsborough finally it came your time and now when I reload it everything is oh dear god okay that is because it's on whole table right and this is like the first element of the table, so everything is Gainsborough. Okay, so that was not what we were searching for, but maybe it could be done something like the age dot b and child even. Oh my god, I'm getting adventurous background color background color and we will do something lavender one of my other favorite and this one does not work if I copy this or duplicate it and I will do it only on th let's see what it does and it does something th so maybe i want td So, if I do it on a th, it will, I mean, okay, so th is, this is the first one, and there is the second one. So, it will, it will look for the end child. Why child? If I do TR. Okay, so this is the first child, and here is the second. First child, second child. Alright, this is. This is surprising to me. This is really surprising. So, because it kind of like counts the, what I would suppose is when I put it on TR, 
pets will do this would be the children like this is the first one and this is the second one but apparently not it's counted like TR and uh, it's called child but it's the next one and the next one and the next one is the different styles which is surprising to me okay well at least at least we know at least we know and I'm guessing it is a time to pour my next D. Here we go. A good day, which starts with a good D. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, it's kind of weird. And uh, let's say if we can, I will duplicate this, I'll copy it and put it in here as well. Because now we can see it is on both of the tables, the style. And let's say I want it on a second one only. So I will attempt it, I will comment this out. Okay, and I uh, will try this. Does here have to be this? Does here have to be this? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, when I inspect this one, does it have the B class as well? Does it? Uh, it's, it have the A thing. So. Why you don't work? Why you don't work? Why you don't? Why you don't? Why you don't work? Okay. So now it works. It should be B, and then I do TR. And what? <laughs> I did not want to do that. Okay, now just that's interesting. So I put it on a style B which is this table in here and now it will do on each so I'm supposing it is on a TR it is on a TH and it is on a TT so the TR uh, it will color the right columns if I do TR in here It will do exactly what I said. And if I do TH in here, everything vanish. Because it should be on a record and I'm already confused again. So I will do TR and it will do nothing again. I do this. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Wait a wait a wait a wait a moment. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we here we here we go. Da, 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 that must be together. Ah, that's awesome. I found it out. I found it out how to do it. Okay, so this is the selector. It is on B. And in B, I can select another thing. Uh, selecting 
I know the thing or applying to it is is to make space so it will be applied to class B and in B the record and child All right, so that was the end child, and there was another thing which I wanted to try, and that was alignment. Um, because of that, I need to set some sizes. So we do width, that will be okay. I kind of uh, we'll put it in here. So it will be the DH and DR, and we want the uh, width, which will be uh, let's do 50 pixels and see how it looks. It looks ugly, so we do 70. Okay, maybe 100. Okay, that looks okay. Then we will forget about this padding. Okay, wait, we will set a height. And let's do 50 pixels for the time being. Okay. And now what we can do is to do the text alignment. So this one, I believe, have already some properties from somewhere. And that is text align, internal center, and vertical align is inherit. Hmm. That's interesting. So let's modify the uh, DR things only. And it will be like this. And the first one is uh, text alignment, text align. So let's do center. Doesn't do anything. Okay, I don't know why it was so delayed. Maybe our Mario was sleeping, did not save it. Center, right, save, uh, not extend, I will uh, save. Okay, now it's on the right. Uh, yeah, let's keep it in there. And we can do the vertical alignment. Vertical align, and we will do center we have. So we can do the top. That works. Uh, bottom. We have that as well. Uh, the center is kind of default, I think. I don't know what difference is between center and central. And it doesn't do anything, so I don't know. And there were some other more like after edge. What is that? Alphabetic. It looks like it's just giving me something random, like auto, baseline, hanging, mathematical, super, super. Okay, we can do super. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you are doing to the power of something. So we will do bottom. So that is alignment, and this is for truck record, and maybe we can do for the data only. There we go. It looks a little bit weird. Let's do left and 
Top. Suddenly it feels somehow better. And hmm. I wonder wonder if I can do just one like TR with one TH and just pen it across the two. So let's do as um, people. And it does not, so maybe that's something I could learn. Uh, how to how to do that on on a later stage. And I believe that is all what we wanted to do. So let's check. Borders, yes. Collapse, yes. Uh, with height, yes. Horizontal alignment, we got it. Vertical alignment, we got it. Table padding, we got it. Uh, horizontal dividers, yeah, that's just borders around. Uh, hoverable table. Okay, so that's something we did not do. Uh, we will do that. And there's a stripe tables which we do. And there's a table color which we kind of did. And there's this responsible one which I forgot about totally. Okay, so hover and responsible. So we will do TR. Uh, do I have the TR in here? TH, TR. This doesn't have to be like that since. It, well, okay. Never mind. Uh, and we will do. Oh, I cannot do it like this. Um, but I can do TR hover. And now we will specify the style and we will say background color and we will choose some yellow and that color will be tomato. <laughs> okay, do we have a banana thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. This one gets overwritten by that so maybe if I move this down bottom it will not be overwritten I'm really curious so this one works and this one doesn't so somehow this one has more priority interesting interesting that is something I would like to know how to do as well. You know, to change the color of this one as well, of the background. <laughs> so that is something else which I can... Is there a banana? Uh, I don't know. Mm, melon... There's a lime. Which will be ugly. And guys, I'll go back. Go back to tomato, which is also not ideal, but it's more readable. Alrighty, and so we got the hover, and then we got some other thing. Hover. What was the other thing? Did I did it already. Hover. Oh, yeah, the responsive thing. Mm -hmm. So, table. It was something like this. Table. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, so there is a hover. It was somewhere on the bottom, and uh, it is overflow 
X auto, okay. Uh, we do overflow X auto. Alright, that will be really interesting because I need to make it really small. Okay, so good. And it doesn't do the thing, so I will save it here and reload over there. And now it will do nothing again. Okay. This overflow X auto. Overflow X auto. Maybe it could be on a table only. Ah. Table. Bam. Like so. I'll save it. Reload it and still nothing. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I'm way over the time, got to go. And since done is better than perfect, I will say bye. Bye.